In this video I'd like to look at uh, some ways that you can use a word processor in conjunction with uh, <coughs> with R. Excuse me please. So there I've started up R and I've got a little word processor over here. If you're using Windows a good word processor to use is something like Notepad. You don't want to use a complicated word processor that has a lot of hidden commands in there for formatting. You want to keep things really really simple so that they can transfer over nicely into uh, to WordPad uh, into into R. We've done things like this before. We uh, possibly created a a vector one three two four four seven. Okay, so I've created that object called X that has uh, that concatenated vector in there. Suppose that I decided that that, that four should have been a five. Now it's possible to use the up arrow key. We've talked about that in previous videos. The up arrow key will pull up previous commands. See there's the X that I had given as a command and there's where I defined this X variable so I want to come in and change that to a 5. Okay, That kind of editing can take place. Sometimes it's handy to do things in a word processor. We could have done that that same thing. We could have written our commands in a word processor. Uh, the nice thing about that is that we could save the commands and come back and look at them another day. Okay, now now it hasn't done anything in R, of course, but I could just copy that. Um, maybe a, a Control C if you're you're in a Windows environment and paste it into here. You can do that with the control V. And so I can can give that command. And then if I needed to change what that command was, I can come back and do the editing here and then copy and paste that back in again. So this this feature of uh, of copying and pasting stuff from uh, from a file like that is is a kind of a powerful idea. Okay, so right now that's what our X looks like with that edited five. So we just talked about two ways of of possibly editing a vector. If you're keeping track of stuff, if you're keeping track of the commands in the session that you're building in a word processor, you can cut and paste things and put them over here. That's uh, one powerful kind of idea. Let me clear that because I want to talk about uh, a more complicated structure than uh, than just vectors. It's called a data frame. In this data frame, I'm going to to build a vector called X. I'm using a tab to slide over here and a, another vector called capital Y. And X, I'd like to have that one three. Oops did that wrong that's a nice thing about here it's easy to go back and edit one three two four five and seven and suppose that associated with each x value there's a y value that we're putting in here and so maybe this is a two uh, three three two seven and nine okay all right now that particular file right here I'm going to save so I'm saving that file as for me I'm going to save it in uh, uh, my documents folder so I've just chosen so I paid attention to where that oh Shoot, I should have given it a name. Let me do that again. So I'm going to file and save that as um, demo uh, data frame. And maybe I'll give it a txt. Uh, if you, you, you want this file, this saved file, not to have any extra embedded uh, formatting commands in. 
So if you're uh, uh, working in in uh, the Windows environment, maybe as a text file or an ASCII file is a good kind of thing to save it as. So I'm saving that in Documents, and it's the demo uh, data frame that we're putting it there. Now, <clears throat> at this point, I need to uh, get my uh, working directory. That's the uh, command that just says where are we putting stuff, and uh, we're putting things uh, in there. I want to set my working directory to be in the notation that I'm using. It'll be home will documents. Okay. So now when I get my working directory, notice that it tells me that that's where things are. So that's where it's going to be reading from, and that's where this file is stored. So now I'm, oops, so now I'm going to read, uh, read table is the command that I'm going to use here. And the table that I'm going to use is, is this particular name. I'm going to take that name and put it right in here. So that's the demo data frame. Oops, be sure I'm typing in the right window. You can probably just cut and paste that in in a Word document. Uh, demo data frame dot text, close quotation marks. And I want to say header is equal to tr true in this case because I've got this header up here this X and Y, they're really not data points, they're just saying that there's this one variable I'm calling X and the other variable that I'm calling Y. Okay, so when we do that, it brings that vector into play. Okay, now the problem is that I would lose that information if I just left it like that. So what I would like to do is store that in an object. Just like we stored vectors in objects, we can store these uh, these data frames into objects. And so I'm going to call this demo for right now. And uh, so now any time that I call the object demo, it'll give me that piece of information. The nice thing about a vector, uh, about a data frame, is that I can look at demo dollar x and that will give me the vector that's associated with that variable x. Demo dollar y would give me that and I could have uh, more columns in that as well. I could have as many columns as I want and each one of them can be a different uh, a different vector. Okay. So we talked about a couple different ways of editing things and of getting data in here and we'll look at a couple other videos along the way here too.